Shalom Akim, first off, please go to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim Kakwadash, the one plus millstone, so you can elect. And right now, Akim basically gets us to trusting and trusting the most high with full honesty, sincerity, man. But sometimes, bro, like, hey, if you fuck you over in life, bro, or the shit ain't going your way, man. Man, it's me seeming hard to trust the Lord. Like, man, like, like fuck you, you gotta do your own thing. But I think you gotta trust the Lord that, hey, He's protecting you, He's guiding you through what you need to go through, man. The everything you're going through, man, hey, the Lord has your back behind everything, bro. Regardless of, what, regardless of what's happening, regardless of how much hell you're catching, regardless of you're, you're in a hot seat, bro, regardless of what you're going through, man, the Lord will protect you and guide you. It's all you need to have that trust in Him. And He, hey, bro, just kind of trust the Lord, hey. It ain't going my way right now. At this time, another, but the Lord had me at the end of the day. The Lord, the second Lord will make sure that hey, I'm doing right. I'm doing okay. It's just, I would say it's hard, man. As a matter of fact, I'm going to sell the one real quick. Bro. It's like it. I know something else, but yo, here's the best better one real quick. This is 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13. Fuck you. It means there is no temptation taking you, but that just come to man. You, but yeah, how what is faithful? So I know the Lord is faithful unto you, bro. The Lord is faithful, man. All you gotta do is just put a trust in the Lord. Will go ten miles for you. Go for one if you go for one inch, for one foot, you know. Who will not suffer you? Who will not suffer you to be tempted above your able, but will the temptation? Also, make way to escape that you may be able to bear it. Temptation, bro. With all the hell you're going through, man, Lord will give you a way out, bro. Now I'm saying, just be oh, and Lord got you right, and fucking do some dumbass shit. Hell nah, bro. Hey, Lord will give you a way. Am I wrong? But you gotta put some effort into it, into it, bro. It's like this, man. Say you know you're strapped for crap, strapped for strapped for cash, right? Let's say you know you got a bill in three weeks and you don't get paid, and you don't know that. Let's say like two weeks, right? Let's say you get paid, but it didn't cut off for the bill real quick because it caught you by surprise. The Lord will give you a way to be able to pay it, to bear it, man. But hey, bro, you gotta put your best foot forward in too, bro. And said, so will, will, will temptation also make a way to escape? He'll make a way for you to escape, right? Make you get out of the situation that you're in. But, but, you have to fucking strive for it. You have, you have to honestly have to strive for it. It's like this, man. Like saying, like, working out or doing or doing anything, right? Learning anything. And the Lord will give you the tools and necessary equipment that you need. To get what you want, bro. Say so you want to learn another language, you come a musician, bro, whatever, man. It's like something like something like small, right? Like a behind bread body, bro. The Lord will give you a way. Right? Be sandal you do the way. But you gotta put some hard motherfucker effort into it, man. Same thing with money, bro. Be honest, I say the Lord will make a way for you to hey, make some green real quick, but you gotta work your ass off. But let's have that trust in the Lord that, hey, trusting, trusting, and trusting the Lord that, hey, the Lord will get me through this, bro. That full honesty, trust, bro. Let me go back to what I was saying real quick. This Luke 18, verse 7. It reads in and Shana Yehawah avenges on Olek, which cry day and night unto him. They bear, down, bear along with him. So yeah, man, Esau's under control. You know, he's he's fucking with over these other the other nation, man. And hey, it might fuck you over really hard one day, bro. Like you know, he fucked over, man. It could be it could fact be your own people. He are our own people. These other nation, man. It doesn't matter, right? Like damn, like bro, like what, like why, like why, 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 why did it happen? But the Lord hears your sighing and crying. I understand that, hey, everything you go through, man, everything you go through, 
You might not be able to understand it at that point in time. But you might catch from hell, right? I'm like, man, like, why did why did this happen? Why did that happen, right? It might be something like a whole lot at once, right? And honestly, sometimes it is. Sometimes the hell you catch people, it's all at once. It's like, fuck, man. You know, they have this, this, yeah, X, Y, and Z all hit you all at once, all at one time. Like, uh, it happens to Job. People, when Job, bro, when Job was catching hell, man, you really, bro, it happened back to back to back to back. They all came in as their other one was speaking. And sometimes, bro, hell's gonna, hell is gonna be like that, man. I'm like, the hell you catch, it's gonna come straight it's back to back to back. But be, but be faithful, man. It's just sound like how up in his own leg, which cried day and night unto him, though he bear, though he bear along with him. I tell you, he will avenge him speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. The Lord will avenge you, bro. There's no, there's no doubt about it, man. He will avenge you. He will take care of whatever hell you're through. Hey, Lord got you back at the end of the day. It might not be on your time. It might, you might never even seen it. For example, I'll say one dude. This one dude, bro, I'm old work, man. Straight fucking tooth there, bro. I fucking hate his ass, bro. And hey, when I left, hey, that dude was still there. I got I got fired, but that dude was still there. I found out a couple months later that, yeah, that dude got fired after you. And I didn't even know. I was just chilling out there at the job site. I like, know. Hey, the guy's ass out there too, like, you know. Oh. And bro, that, that dude been there for years. For fucking years, and his ass got fired. Hey, Lord will take care of you. Lord will take care of the people that you're through. That's fucking people, man. Just have patience, have faith. Have faith in most high, man. I feel like giving this real quick. For Lord will avenge you, bro. I guess real quick stuff here. I think it's Romans. You just gotta wait for it, man. And then it's not our time. It don't work. The Lord doesn't work on our time, bro. We work on the Lord's time. Second, like, let me get real quick. Yeah, this Romans 12, verse 18 reads. If it be possible, much life in you, let peace save all men. And when I say that let peace save, bro, it doesn't mean you have to like each other. You don't have to, you don't want to live, live peacefully with somebody, bro, you don't have to like each other, man. You don't. You know, say to someone in your job that you don't fucking like, bro. Hey, the Lord, hey, be like, well, this dude on this, on this side of the schedule and this dude on this side of the schedule. Cool. You know, and no problems happen, and no problems happen. You kind of stand on a fish, but hey, as long as there's peace, bro, there's peace. You know, so the, no, I said, being peace, being peace, peace of peaceful, being pacifist doesn't mean being a guiding pushover. You cannot like somebody and still respect them. Remember my other, other job, bro, like, hey, this dude, I not, I not fucking like him, bro. But what my boss did, hey, he had me and a homeboy, bro. Yeah, separate schedules for, for for a while. It was peaceful. You know, at the end of the day, hey, like, we didn't really make amends, but we kind of like, you know, hey, it's what it was to, bro, like, it's whatever. And, hey, honestly, man, I was, I was like, bro, like, I remember how to, I told homegirl at the time, like, yeah, you know, I don't think me, I don't have problems. I'd rather work with him than his fucking brother. <laughs> and it was true, bro. But I was like, just being a pacifist doesn't mean being a pushover, bro. You could live peacefully just, you know, I don't like each other, man. Just, but I understand that you're a ground dive, but I'm like, hey, I'm not saying anything about you, not saying about me, and it, it's all good. Dear beloved, men on yourselves, but rather get placed unto wrath, for Ben, vengeance is mine. I will repay, say the most high. That's the Lord pay, bro. That's the Lord pay, man. You can only do so much at the end of the day. You can be, on, you can be an asshole only so much when it gets, but the fire's coming back to you. Like yeah, you could chip, you could probably chip that dude, you know, give him a little chip real quick. But hey, that, that's HR, that's this, that's that, that's police, where the fuck, bro? And honestly, man, hey, like here in Arizona, right? Arizona guns are fucking relaxed shit. You know, I can carry a gun. I tell you, bro, these people, man, these people today, bro, they, they wild. They, if they have one, bro, they're ready to pull out that bitch fast as hell. 
They are. So I'll pay the most high. Therefore, thy enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. So hey, if you if you see him, bro, then like, just be cool with him, bro. You ain't gotta like him. Be cool with him. You ain't gotta do it. <laughs> you ain't gotta like it. You just gotta do it. <laughs> I remember, I remember my, my dad told me that shit. Like, hey, that's honestly that's a good point. And you ain't gotta like it. You just gotta do it. That's that. That's it. You ain't gotta like your job. You just gotta fucking do it, job. That's all. For in doing so, that shall he close a fire on his head. But not overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. Don't fight fire with fire, bro. Every, what happened, bro? Everyone's get burnt. You fight fire with fire with somebody, like everyone's get burnt at the end of the day, bro. You know, it just, you both gonna get, be fucking ashes. Hey, do it with water, man. Hey, put the water out, bro. Put that fire out. And then he got nothing to fight with, bro. And it's over a stick. That's it. Now that shit's all wet and they're cold now. But hey, bro, overcome evil with good. Don't don't try to go for tip for tat for these people today, bro. Don't. Why? You know, it's not it's, it doesn't benefit you at the end of the day. Oh man, I hate this dude that yeah, bro. There's plenty there's plenty plenty of plenty, plenty of fuck people I hate in the world, bro. Plenty of fuck people I hate in the world. That I dislike that honestly rather than I wish rather I would, the man I'd rather just rather rather dead. But I'm gonna do him? Hell no. You know why? You don't have the Lord deal for bro. Am I gonna go hunt down my fuckers? Hell no, nah, bro. No one was suggesting you should. Let, let, let the Lord deal with things, man. You think the Lord, Lord's gonna protect you? The Lord's gonna help you out? That one gets real quick. Second, those in one verse six. When you've seen, is the righteous thing with you? How? Is the righteous thing with you? How? What? To your recompense tribulation, let me trouble you. Hey, it's, it's the righteous thing to the Lord, bro. So let, but let, let the Lord deal with you, man. You know, hey, sit back, relax, and they have your conscience cut. I'm just kidding. The best, the best way I, I heard, basically heard, bro, that kind of like sticks to me after years of just seeing this, bro. So I'm real quick today. Don't forgive your enemies because they deserve, because they deserve mercy. Forgive your enemies because you deserve, you to forgive them because you deserve peace. That you can let go of it. And you know what? He's only gonna hurt you at the end of the day. I said, you know what? I'm like, all this man. Hey, the Lord got you, bro. The hey, Lord see how he fits. He see fits, bro. That kind of shit is not doing much. Trust, <laughs> trust him, Lord, man. Just trust him, bro. Yes, I'm gonna real quick. Man off this man, it's my concern for some reason. Therefore, I will look unto you. I will, I'll wait for myself for my for the power of my salvation. My power will hear me. So, hey amen. We'll, we'll look, bro. We'll wait for the most high, man. Because on this side, there's nothing, bro. The money's corrupt, the woman's corrupt, the men are corrupt, the children are corrupt, the place is corrupt, the food's corrupt, the, the air you breathe is corrupt, it's polluted, it's this, it's that. Why you want to strive here, man? You know, it's, it's ain't shit here. The way we get paid, bro. The woman, the men, the children, the air, the food, the concrete, bro. The things we walk, the shit we walk on, man. It's all corrupt, and they know it. They know it. Hey, it's all fucked up. But say, hey, what you gonna do? It's too late now. It is too late. I think they especially destroy the thermonuclear missiles. Wait, it's waiting war, bro. So I'll wait for my. I wait for the Most High. I wait for for the God of my of my of my salvation. My power will save me. Hey, wait for Him, bro, to get us out of here, man. But the trust in, like, you know what? Hey, I'm going through where I'm going through. Hey, I'm just Lord that when I go to the kingdom, you're all worth it, man. But it's when I get out of That bro, all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kafash, Sakim Shalom.